Hello, everybody, and welcome to day one of NUL Respects. We have on this field Afterburners versus Mumbai Bantais. Afterburners just scored. Unfortunately, we apologize for the delay in starting the commentary. We were just setting things up, as you can imagine, on the first day of a new tournament. It's great to be back. I think from the huge, resounding success of last time, uh, it was only we'll come back here. As opposed to last year, where we started playing early in the morning at 7 a.m., this time I think the timing is much better, considering uh, the conditions and the heat that's currently prevailing in Mumbai. So, it's good to be back. How do you feel, DV, this time? Very, very good. Um, it is good to be back, like you said. Uh, it's, a, it's a bigger MUL. We've got more people participating this year. Uh, about 140 people signed up, and I think each team has... thing known as a cup which is three people near the disc when the disc gets picked up after Mumbai Banta is number 29 walking towards the disc Anch Anch swings the disc another swing to number 97 as you can see the three person cup has as you can see three people around that person and oh that's a slightly wavered throw and that's a turnover big term the afterburners running towards the end zone now he cuts back in Arthur is slowing the game down. He's he's taking his time to pick up the disc. Arthur has the disc. Arthur is looking for in cuts, and the in, and the cut is by Nirbha on the sideline. Nirbha looking for options. Back to Arthur. Malik is marking uh, Arthur. This comes back to the afterburners. That's a nice swing. That's a good catch to Ranya. Sharanya to Arthur. Arthur looking for someone who's cutting deep. Looks for options. This comes to Hardik. Hardik's looking for options. Hardik throws long and unfortunately the disc flies over the cutter. Once more a turnover. This time the disc comes back to Mumbai Bantais. Bumai Banta is coming back with the disc. It's good to see that this time uh, the afterburners unlike Wrong. Malik going for the disc. Malik's running. Malik's running. Will Malik be able to catch it? Yes. Great. Now Malik's looking for support because the disc is not in the end zone. The disc goes to number 21. That's a good upline. Moving the disc, getting some yardage. Disc comes to the center. Looking in, looking for a pass in the end zone. Oh, that was a good look. Unfortunately, I think the cutter overran the disc. 
that's another turnover. This time the disc will go back to the afterburners. Arthur moving towards the disc. Afterburners applying what is known as a horizontal stack technique. As you can see, they're not standing behind each other, but they're standing laterally at the same line. So what they're looking for is the ability that multiple people will make a cut or run towards the disc in space to get it. This time the disc, oh, that's a nice block from the Mumbai Bantais. Victor was going for the disc, but Victor could not get there in time. Ansh with the defense. Anj Hux looks into the end zone for Malik and Malik scores. That's a good play. The score is 1-1. One, one. Afterburners 1, Mumbai Bantai, Bombay Bantai is 1. Parshu, Parshu, Parshu giving the commentator a compliment, which is always nice to see. So the score is one all and we are coming back to it. The lines are getting set. For the in sorry for the Mumbai Bantas, this time I see apologies. For I see on the line Vaishnavi, I see Tuheen, I see Shashank. Mm, I see Anch. No, Anch is not there. DB do you do you see the numbers? from a club team from Bombay called West Coast Rascals. Heen is from a club team in Bombay also known as uh, the Storm Chasers. So if anyone is interested in picking up Ultimate, if you like what you see and you would like to play, you're more than welcome to. Uh, maybe not in the tournament, but generally to start playing. There are multiple teams in Bombay. Uh, as I said, Storm Chasers, West Coast Rascals. There is also the IIT Bombay team called Nightcrawlers. There is Down to Earth, which plays and it's and we see Sandy waving towards us. It's always nice. Always smiling. Always smiling. Always happy. Used to be in the Grumpies last season. Unfortunately, um, we're not able to retain him this year. But it's good to see him still smile. And the pull is out. The disc lands somewhere towards the center half. But there's a nice roll. Shubham stops the roll. City with. City quickly starts the movement with to Faizan. From Faizan, the disc goes back to City. City is in the corner looking for options. Sharanya, has, Sharanya is in space. Faizan takes the disc on the upline. And there's a nice hand block. And this time we see that the disc has quickly moved to Mumbai Bantais. And back to afterburners. That's a great interception by Faizan. Great defensive bid after uh, turning the disc over. Um, good to see the hustle there. And uh, Bantais get it back. This is a high paced. Okay, the disc is currently. Pushy with the disc. Looks up. Swings the disc back. Joker gives it back to. Back to Joker again. Whipple with the disc. Back to Joker. A little bit of patience required from Tuhin. He dumps it back to Kushi. Kushi with the disc currently. And she looks for 
and Faizan gets it back. This is a great point from the spectator point of view. See all the turnovers. Shubham with the disc currently. Shubham gives it to City. Run up. Faizan with the disc. Back to Shubham. Shubham looks for. I think he was looking for Chavi, but uh, it was a bit above Chavi, so she couldn't get to it. Turnover. Banta is walking up to the disc. Shubham Lokri with the disc. Faizan comes up. The stall count starts now. Vaishnavi making a cut. There's a call. Foul. Uncontested. Shubham with the disc. He's coming in at zero. Looks for Kushi. Steal, but Chavi, yeah. Chavi is not contesting the call. Was that the disc had already been caught by the Bombay Bantai's player, which was then smacked out of the hand. So that's a foul known as a strip. But the disc is moving further up to Heen to number eight. Coming back to Lokre. In the air, City bidding for the disc and Shashank gets the disc and he scores. The score is now 2-1 in favour of Bombay Bantai's. That was a that was an interesting point. There were about what five to six turnovers. There were about five to six turnovers on that, but Bombay Bantai's finally got the point. Uh, yes, City was trying to bid for the day. Shank was better positioned. He was able to control the where the disc was going to like connect with which player's hand. So that was good to see. Um, like I said at the beginning of it, also, I'm we're more pleasant than playing a game at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning in the Bombay heat. Both teams getting ready. I think the line for afterburners is yeah, that's right. Arthur is on, Arthur is online along with a bunch of others. I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know everyone's name, but I'll try my best. Uh, Nirbha is on the line. We have Arav on the line. Karan is the tallest member of their team, I would imagine. And also of most teams. Ah, we have Ani from the Afterburners with us in the commentary box today. How's it going? How's, how, do you, how do you see the game going? The game's been pretty fun to play till now. It's a really hot day out there. It's happening everybody's energy. There's a bit of wind uh, moving towards this side. So we're seeing a lot of throwaways happening when it gets closer to the end zone. Uh, all in all, fun, great. Now towards the near side sideline. Arav to Kunal. Kunal to Hardik. Arav back with the disc. Kunal, Arav and Kunal doing a one-two. Arav to Hardik, Hardik to Nirbha, Nirbha to Athir. Oh, that was close. Back to Kunal. They're moving quickly up the field. Nirbha, Nirbha into the center field, passes it to Arav on the near side sideline. Back to the center. Arav again moving up with the disc, getting some progression of passes. Looking for Kunal for the hammer. Kunal signaling to him. I don't know if he'll know he's not going to throw. Hardik with the disc. Hardik looking on, looking at someone cutting into the end zone. Decides against it, passes it to Kunal. Kunal for Nirbha, but the disc flies over. That was a good setup, good movement of the disc. Quick.
time Bombay Banta is with the disc. Ansh has the disc. Karan is making an in cut. Disc comes to the center in the end zone of the Mumbai Bantas. There's a good pressure. Mumbai Bantas continue with the oh. disc. There's a nice up line. The wind is strong and it carries the disc over number 15. That was a good thought. It was good movement. But unfortunately, I think the wind suddenly picked the disc up and the disc went over. Ansh to Kunal. Kunal to Hardik. Hardik looking for Someone, Nirbha cuts in. Nirbha looks for Anch. Anch. Arav, sorry, my bad. Arav. Arav to Kunal. part about ultimate frisbee it's a self refereed sport where the teams can take 30 seconds to have a word with each other to amicably resolve any contest or disputes that may come up during the game which is one of the actual things that i really like about the sport after burners with the disc arav looking for options Arav, oh, and Athir fumbles the disc. The disc comes to Bombay Bantais. Bombay Bantais with the dish throw. The dish throw is, oh, that's a good recovery. For a second, it seemed that the disc might turn over all over again. Karan. Karan tried to bid for the disc into the end zone. However, unfortunately, the wind again caught the disc. It's an interesting contest which I see unfolding. There are sometimes the game is slightly, uh, I would say, on the scrappy side of things, if I may. There's a there's a host of turnovers. I think the wind is also playing a spoiled sport in getting everyone with the disc. After burners with the disc. Uh, the disc is with Kunal. Kunal looking for options. Athir is Athir is possibly the one who we connect with. And he hucks the disc into the air. Arav bidding for the disc along with some from Mumbai. Oh, and Arav collects it. That's a good grab. Arav looking for options. Arav hucks towards Athir. Athir in the end zone. And that's a score. And the score is 2 all. This is a hotly contested game. The assist goes to Arav. But the score belongs to Arthur as he caught the disc into the end zone. So that's interesting to see. After burners are really turning the heat up on this hot day. <laughs> Overall, Dhruv, I would think to the MUL. I think there's, we've seen some good grabs already, some nice calls. Uh, certainly, I think uh, you know. I think this game that we're watching is also a fairly uh, well-balanced game, which is a good thing to see because the afterburners were severely understaffed, as you would know, Manan, last season, as you were part of that understaffed team. But uh, but it's good to see good numbers. And I think it's a well-balanced game, like you said. It's a little scrap that may be causing it. And, and and the wind that's picking up now, I think. Uh, but I think see uh, performing a little better, less mistakes. 
And Bombay Bantas do have a specific player. I would like to call out on this. Malik is one of their players. The disc, which is difficult to judge, considering that the wind picks up one way or the other. I think he's going to be a great person in the end zone to grab the disc this time. We recently went for a tournament to Surat where we saw Su uh, Malik did this multiple times where the disc would move suddenly in the wind and Malik was the only one grabbing it every single time. It was very heartening to see. Yeah, while we're watching this, Bhavya the Iceman scores one for the icebreakers. See the wind picking up the um, off-season ultimate board and the refets board just toppling over because of the wind. It's going to make the game a little bit more... It's going to... It can... I think the wind's going to be a trick or I would say a, possibly a spoil sport for both teams. But then again, we're playing with the flying disc. How can we not rely on the wind for that? After Fezan, and I believe, I think that's Parshu, and Ananya is also on the line. Yes, after Burn, uh, Bombay Banta is just finishing up their strategy discussions, and the line is finally there. We have Sandy on the line for Bombay Bantai, Shashank, Arya, who's a fantastic player from this. The pull is done. The pull is good. It's nice. It's floaty. It gives enough time for afterburners, defenders to catch up. And the pressure is on on the handler. Arya with the disc. The cup is strong. She, she finds options. Apologies. Uh, the previous player was not Arya. This one the, was just Arya. On the, the disc is on the far sideline. Someone crashing into the cup. Sandy gets the disc. Sandy looking for options. Sandy swings the disc onto the near side in the sideline, which was a great swing. Opened up the play. We see a couple of players from Mumbai Bantas running into the deep. Arya with the disc. And unfortunately, the disc goes over the sideline. I think, again, this is one of those cases where the wind just suddenly picks the disc up. Parshu with the disc. Parshu centers the disc to Ani. Ani gives it to Fezan. Fezan can see someone running deep. He gives it to Ani. Shubham is already in the end zone. The disc comes back to Fezan in the center. The, to Sharanya. Sharanya looking for options. Comes. There's a call, I think. Sharanya is having a chat with Arya on this. Sorry, not uh, Kushi with Arya. Uh, the disc goes back to Fezan. Fezan looking for someone in the deep and he comes to Nirba. Nirba with them some nice clean space. The disc comes to Parshu. Parshu giving one fake and he hammers it in the air and unfortunately the disc goes over. It was a good attempt by Binson. No. Is that Binson? From Fezan, sorry, not Binson. And interesting to see that people are willing to take certain risks. A hammer throw is never an easy one. Particularly when it's windy. But uh, heartening to see that there is some great drive towards, you know, getting the, getting the goal for the team. Bombay Banta is setting up. Oh, and I think uh, it's half time or time out? So I guess the teams have taken a timeout. 
Score is two all. That's right. Teams have come back from the turnout. Bumbar Banta is with the disc. Shashank cutting in. The disc is not for him. The disc comes to Sandy in the end zone. And the disc is intercepted by Parshu. Very close to the Bumbai Banta's end zone. Ani gets with the disc. Ani looking at Parshu. Parshu looking for options into the end zone. And that's a great block by Shashank. That was some good defending right there. Sandy going towards the disc. Shashank running on the outside. Sandy swings the disc into the center towards Kushi. The disc is on the far sideline. Which is a tricky place to be in considering that there's a lot of pressure on the sideline specifically with the cup in place. Sandy swings the disc nicely back to the center. And there's some good one-two happening. Nibha bit for the disc. Unfortunately was, was not successful. The disc comes to Kushi, Kushi to Sandy. The disc comes back to Sandy. That was a nice grab by Sandy. The disc goes to number five. Arya with the disc. Arya to Kushi. And that was some nice transition swing to the other side of the field. This is what keeps up the defense on their toes. You know, the fact that the disc keeps moving, they don't have time to settle. They have to plan, plan their defense. Lokre to Sandy, Sandy to back to Lokre, Lokre to Sandy again. That was some good one-two happening right there. Sandy looking for options. Arya in the center. Sandy goes back to Kushi. Kushi goes to Shashank. Shashank goes back. Sandy's moving nicely across the field. The disc comes to Lokre. From Lokre to Arya. Oh, that was a nice single-handed grab by Arya. Very close to the afterburners end zone. That's some good, calm play by the Bombay Bantais. They are taking their time with the disc. No one's in a rush to get into the end zone. Swinging the disc nicely between the handlers. The disc comes back to Arya. Arya looking for options. Oh, and that was a nice recovery. That was a nice recovery, layout recovery by Lokre. Lokre to Sandy. Sandy to Kushi. Kushi back to Sandy. Sandy, unfortunately, with a not so great throw. The setup was great. The movement of the disc was great. The calm, collected handling of the disc by the Bombay Bantas was great. But unfortunately, that final throw, which would have resulted in a score, was not on the mark. Bombay Bantas, uh, Bombay Bantas is getting set up for the defense. After burners with the disc, Parshu handling. Parshu looking for options. And he throws a very sharp upline which unfortunately connects with the ground before it connects with the uh, Shubham who's on the other side. Afterburner is setting up. Bombay Banta is 
Arya with the disc, Sandy with the disc. That's after the Bombay Bantas handlers are very, very calm and collected with the disc. Ah, and that was unfortunately the commentator's curse. As soon as I was saying that, it seemed that Sandy fumbled the disc. I guess they don't kid about that curse. Fezan collecting, starting with the disc. Parshu, Parshu is trying to get free. Parshu gets very nice cut by Parshu. Parshu hucks it into the deep, looking for Shubham. Shubham, oh! While the disc connected with his hand, unfortunately, he couldn't hold on to it. Shubham was very close to scoring a great point for afterburners. Unfortunate. Bumbay Bantas are just slowing the game down a bit, making their way calmly towards the disc. They no rush as such to score. Lokre with the disc, starting the play back up. The disc goes to Arya. Arya to Kushi. Kushi to Lokre. The cup is strong. It's again Shubha, Mananya and Sharanya into the cup. Crash, crash, no. And Arya gets the disc further behind in the end zone. Lokre with the support. Sandy, Sandy gets the disc. Sandy and Arya both actually went for the disc. Sandy collected it. Go to Lokre, from Lokre to Arya. There's some good one-two happening. Comes, oh, and that's a great, that's unfortunate. The disc movement, while good, the angle of the disc for Shashank was not comfortable for him to collect it. The disc is picked up by Faizan from Afterburners. The disc comes to Sharanya. Sharanya looking for options. Parshu is in space, giving support handling. Fezan makes a nice cut. And Shashank calls a pick. A pick is a foul that the defense calls, saying that they were blocked by someone from the offensive side and they could not bid or defend the disc or move towards the disc to make an attempt. As is the spirit of ultimate, this is a self refereed sport. So Shashank and Fezan are the people who are going to talk, but Nirba raised her hand. Why? Because she could, she volunteered to give perspective. Again, this is a sport where disputes or contest will be decided basis a discussion. There has to be an agreement or a contest where the disc goes back. In this case, the disc was contested, which said that they one side did not accept the foul, and they said that okay, we'll contest the disc and. They contest the call and therefore the disc will go back. Parshu with the disc, Parshu goes to Nirbha, Nirbha in some clean space, very close to the end zone, looking for someone who's cutting in, Shubham cuts in, Shubham right at the edge of the end zone. And that's a score by Ananya. That was some good play by the afterburners. The score is now 3-2. Shubham with the assist and Ananya with the score.
after burners and bombay banta is back on the line but overall a fun game everyone's intense It's a good recovery. The disc was falling low suddenly. Comes to number ten. burners back to hardik hardik hucks it long and that's a great point that's a good score after burners doing very well and the score is now 4-2 in favor of the after burners It's half time both teams taking a well deserved break and also <laughs> discussing strategy
Hello and welcome back to the second half of Buntai versus Afterburners. Hello and welcome back to the second half. The, both the teams are yet to pull. Afterburners are up 4 to 2 on the Buntais. I'm taking over. I'm here, Rishabh Kishore, taking over from Manan, who has to start prepping for his game with the Grumpies. Victor coming up with the disc to pull it to start the second half. Banta is on offense, ready to receive the disc and start their comeback. About 25 to 26 minutes of game time left in this matchup. On field two of the second season of MUL. And with the disc on the sideline. Swing over to the middle. Afterburners having a good start and using the cup effectively. A bit windy here in Bombay. Still a bit hot and quite windy surprisingly. I think it's just because we're kind of close to the sea. Hans chucks it up to Lokre, who's trying to run up behind the disc and looks like he's going to come with it. A terrific put by the Bantai to start the second half. A great, great way to start their comeback. Now they're just down one. Started this game on serve and looking <coughs> to keep the momentum on this D point coming up right now. Um, I see Ria, I see Aldi Agarwal, I think. I see Snakey, hello Snakey. Everyone live in the chat, please say hi. Tell me uh, what you want to hear about. Give me your initial thoughts on this game so far. Sandeep and Loke is celebrating this terrific put by Anj. About 24 minutes of game time left in this matchup. Been quite a s slow game on both sides um, of MUL this, this first day. Both, all four teams have started quite slow and taken the half at the 40 minute mark as opposed to scoring seven. As you can see, Buntai is at only down 3-4 right now and almost 50 minutes of game time done. And even on bomb score icebreakers, the score ended at 4-4 at half. So pretty low scoring so far. I think it's a bit to do with playing with new teammates and windy conditions here. I think just strange gusts of bees as Anj puts it up for a pull. Let's see if Buntais can bring this D point back and make it an interesting contest for these last 20 minutes. Brick called. Parchuram walks up to the brick mark. Parchuram with the disc. Swings it. Oh, and an early drop. A huge chance for Jigar and the Bantais to tie it up right here. Anj gets the disc back, looking for a swing. A quick call on the field, I think either close marking or fast count. Bantais getting a quick second to stack up and bring their offense back. An early swing to... Vaishnavi with the disc, number 73 from the Bantais. It's still on the sideline. Another call. Maybe Sharanya a bit too close to Vaishnavi. Parshuram chiming in with his opinion. I think it was called out of bounds, but perspective. 
Vaishnavi and Sharani have a quick discussion. And that's a turn. Looks like it was caught just on the line out of bounds. The disc goes back quickly to the afterburners. Still on the still on the line with looks like Bantais are going to a man with Parshumam left wide open. Someone poaching supremely hard. Oh, lit reckless from the afterburners and a quick turn again. Vipul with the disc gives it to Anch. Anch holsters. Looks for Vipul. For a dump. Vipul gets it on the sideline. Risky throw. Anch gets it right back, looking downfield. Looking for Rushi but denies him. Oh, and another throw away. Think uh, Tyson. Aldi says he just wants to see the afterburners kill it. It's been a slow start for them in the second half. Um, Aditi, when are you coming here to the fields and watching all of this? You're already watching live, but in person. Ooh, as Anj takes a bid, but she comes out with the Tathir, with the disc, looking down the field. Chavi denied on opportunity. Goes to Ananya in the back, and she gets it. After Bana, keep the two-point lead. Hold serve, go up 5-3. A good pick from Athir to Aranya in the end zone. Both the original afterburners members from season one coming together with the score. All right, see you, see you next weekend. Aditi, tell me which team you're playing for, I forget. Um, as we see a replay of Athir with a beautiful OI to the end of the end zone with Aranya with a great cut. Helping the team keep their two point lead. About now, it's about just about 20 minutes of game time left in this first matchup. Let's see how these teams fare. Bantai's had, had two opportunities <coughs> to win their D point and tie the game up, but Looks like, looks like they could not come through, but they still have about 20 minutes. Slow game again, like I said, between both these teams. Looks like it's going to probably end at the winning team scoring just about seven to win it. But it's the first day of MUL season two. Everyone get, still getting to know each other. Slightly windy conditions, people getting back into the flow of ultimate for this season. Afterburners figuring out seven on the line. Bantai's with their O line. Lokre, Hardik, Anch, Arya, Vaishnavi, Rushi, all on the field. Afterburners have Jainesh, Fazan, Nirbha, Ani, Hardik, Sharanya. <coughs> and they're ready to continue holding their force. If they get this break, after must get this break, it's going to be a tough going for Bantais to make it back into this matchup. But short turn, Arya gets the disc, leaves it.
It's been a slow start. Uh, Ani, with the quickly on the sidelines, any thoughts on this first match? I think uh, the first game, uh, like I said at the starting of the first half also, when you step onto the field, uh, it's been a while since everybody's played uh, competitive ultimate and also it's a, uh, more of a uh, kind of a league tournament, so everybody's playing for the first time. So there's a lot of heat and it's sapping a bit of energy off you. Um, it feels like there are thorns on hold of your face when you're actually playing there, so it's it's a little more difficult than usual to make a decision, make the right decision in that in that case. And uh, with the wind just taking it uh, towards uh, this side, uh, every time you throw from anywhere above your chest, if you're not giving it enough reps, it's going to air bounce. So it's causing a lot of turnovers along with the decision making. So uh, the team which actually would be a lot more patient and uh, kind of uh, keep moving the disc upfield will probably be the one that takes this game. Yeah, I think the wind is uh, weird. It's not steadily windy, but I think it's constant bouts of sudden gusts of wind. And a lot of times you see people just putting their arms out and trying to search for a disc that just goes beyond them. But it good. It uh, it makes good for a D line for sure. Yeah, the zone on the D is um, kind of working really well. Um, the the thing which is working is if you have a uh, three-person uh, zone who are kind of not giving any of the throws uh, inside the cup or the high releases uh, then then you can actually like contain a team from actually moving the disc up the field so every throw that we saw in the last point were all high releases and that's ex exactly what we want them to take uh, that's a 50 50 throw all the time so uh, hopefully uh, there'll be a couple turns out here as Bantas choose to actually go for a man marking as opposed to a zone uh, oh, a small, easy drop by the afterburners. Another chance for the Bantais to tie it up right here. And again, like uh, Rishabh was just talking, um, the wind was, uh, that was that, the throw was with the wind, but then you suddenly the disc just took up a bit there, right when Aro was coming towards it. So that's what caused that turn out there. Right. And should the deep put to the end zone, but just goes to the outstretched arms of Arya. Perhaps Vantas could have been a bit more patient. Anja and Arya having a chat on the field about that decision. As Vantas have another chance to, sorry, after Vantas have another chance to keep the lead of two points. As we go into the last, last few minutes of this game. Arav went for a deep cut, but ooh, no decision. I mean, a bit of a miscommunication between Arav and Virag, the thrower. Arya with the disc on the sideline. Another chance for the Bantais. Arya to Vaishnavi. Vaishnavi perhaps looking to center the disc now, closely guarded by Ananya. She sends it to the end zone, but it goes way beyond the end zone, the wind carrying it a little bit. The Bantais with another turn when they could have tried to uh, tie it up. But after Banners with another, another breathing another sigh of relief as they bring the disc back to the end zone and start their offense over for the third time. Patience, I think. Bantais holding their um, man marking positions while. Bantai's play, sorry, while afterburners have a whole stack with Ananya and Chavi on either sides on the wings and Nirbha and Arav on the middle. Chavi goes deep on the sideline as afterburners handlers move it around. Varun on the disc. Varun looks to swing it, gets the disc swing to Sid T.
Siddi comes up with that disc, looks to send to Kunal, who gets us in the end zone. And after one us third time lucky, keep the lead of 6 4. <laughs> An important score for the afterburners as they get to keep the two point cushion in these last 12 minutes. I know I've mentioned the time several times, but it's important as it's a hard cap and the play stops exactly at 75 minutes. Looks like there's been a timeout call on the field. After burners hold the 6 4 advantage. Slow, windy day here on the first day of season two. Not sure what the score at um, over on the other field is with Bomb Squad and Icebreakers. One would think Icebreakers would have the lead, but Bomb Squad took them to half 4 4.
हाँ हाँ अभी the time out between after burners and banta is just and last 7 minutes in this contest this is banta is have to score this to stay relevant in the game um after burners on d quickly coming up big call by ansh ansh rushi in the back field discussion about the big mark hardik and ansh both from surat ultimates having a discussion perhaps in gujarati huge gust of wind right now i think it's downfield for the bantais who so she with the disc looking for down cuts finds one in vipul vipul looking for arya and finds lokre closely guarded by varun lokre looking downfield finds vaishnavi puts it to arya arya was safest people in mul with the disc sends it up field khushi with the disc and a call with ananya quickly resolved on the sideline khushi centers it to ansh for a swing now banta is within 6 yards of scoring sends it up to khushi blocked by aranya perhaps a bit more patience with the banta is would have brought them one step closer to the comeback but after banas with another score if they punch this in looks like a certainty for after banas to end their first match with of mul season 2 with a win Hardik with the disc, looking for cuts. Shubham gives him his first one. Gets in downside. Victor coming in. Foul call. Foul call by Khushi on Shubham. Them having a discussion about the call. Perspective offered by Hardik. After Banas and Banta is taking too long to make this call. <laughs> I hope none of what Ani just said was caught by the mic. <clears throat> Still discussing the call. Looks like the foul is contested and the disc goes back. That could have been resolved a bit quicker. Hardik again with the disc in the same spot, looking for a cut downfield. And that's a turn by the afterburners. And imp- looks like an important foul call by the Bantais. and quickly walking onto this last 3 minutes of game time this score could bring bantas down to 1 and then back on d to hope to tie up the game being hard cap there will not be any universe point the game will end at exactly 75 minutes khushi gets the disc looking downfield sends it to arya sends it up nirbha guarding her and arya comes up with the disc banta is score to make this game a bit interesting 6-5 to the afterburners right now Banta is on D. Guys, last two and a half minutes. To him.
It's 50 seconds of game time. As the disc goes up, half to one as we look to just kill time and finish off this game with a one point lead. Banta is trying to look for the elusive tie in this moment. Again, no universe points as the last 30 seconds. After Bernas looking to send it deep. Safe possession right so far by After Bernas. Faizan empty on the swing but denied. But this si stays on the sideline for the last 20 seconds. After Bernas go for the score and again it. With that, that's pretty much the game. Ooh. And that's a score. That ends the game. 7 5 to the afterburners. Guys, that's time! That's time! And that's it. That's it from afterburners versus Bantais. They win the game 7 5. And that's it from game one. Bantais versus afterburners. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned in for the rest of the games. Cutting Chai versus Icebreakers and Grumpies versus. I believe the Bantais. See you soon.